what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down Hendrix, Spanish, Castle Magic, one of my favorites. I hope you guys dig it too. I also appreciate you signing my newsletter at martymusic.com. Uh, but enough of that, let's dig in. Here we go. All right, so we're in E flat tuning. You gotta have your guitar tuned down a half step, like all Hendrix pretty much. I'm using a Hendrix Fuzz Face Mini Fuzz Pedal. It's doing the job. And I'm starting the riff in this C sharp minor pentatonic. So the root's on the ninth fret, but the, the riff starts with the 11th fret A string with the ring finger, and then I'm playing the ninth fret of the D and G. And so it does a repeating riff like that, and then finally lands on the 11th of the A and slides down. So with the fuzz turned up. One, two, three, and then da bo. All right, so right there. Then we're gonna be in this little zone of the same scale, but with the root on the fourth fret of the A string. And it's really kind of just a pentatonic lick like this. You know. Right around there, but there's some really clever things going on. So instead of that, we're harmonizing that note with a power chord. So it's second fret D, second fret A, open E. And then ring finger hits that root, fourth fret A string. Then we go up to the second fret D, back to the root, and then hit that twice. So, then we wanna grab the open B and open high E, And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the fourth fret of the G string with my pinky, um, mostly because when I'm rocking out hard, I, I that note is the same as the open B. And you're gonna have a better chance of uh, not, you don't want that open G in there. So that's a good way to kind of, even if you're muting it, So, da da do, bo, da bo, bo, and it has to go right into that. So watch, when I crank the fuzz up, you'll be able to hear it. So now we go into a B power chord. So second fret, fourth fret, da 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 T four. Now we're gonna go down a half step. And then it's another half step, but we're gonna hop over to the five and seven, so an A power chord. Then down a half step again. And then we scoot it over to the root, the C sharp. And so here's something that's going on in a live version I was listening to. He's clearly playing that Hendrix chord, that four, three, four, five. But on the original recording, it's a C sharp power chord, sounds like to me, but with this uh, fifth in the bass, so it's like an inverted power chord. And it just sounds dark and 
got a cool sound to it. So it would be four, 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 seven. So check it out. Two, da, 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 one, five, four. And then we scoot it over. And then it starts over to the second fret. Da, 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 five, four. And then it scoots over. Yeah! So now it does the exact same riff that we were doing in E with the fuzz up. It does that exact same thing, but on A now. So it's just the A power chord. So everything's scooted down that way. So it would be uh, two on the G, two on the D, open A. And then now that uh, fourth fret D now. So it's just like the E riff, but scoot it over. But the open B and the open high E still stay the same. And there's overdubs going on. In other words, more than one guitar is being recorded on the studio version, plus bass is playing a line. So there's a few options, but we have. So it's just a two, four, two, four. But then right over to the E. So from the A. So then it's just doing some raunchy uh, blues licks. So you can kind of think of it as the uh, G sharp minor pentatonic. We're just, it, well, yeah, that is what it is. So it's just doing this raunchy half step double bend or double stop half step bend. So it'd be the 6G, 6B. And the bass is doing something very different. I mean, it's kind of like a blues turnaround, but with some weird licks underneath it. So that's the uh, sixth fret G and B. Whole step down. Grab that six of the D, back up to that four of the G. And then the exact same thing in the C sharp. So you'd be on the 11th of the G and the B, right in that box. Two, one, five, four, and then C sharp. And then it starts over to two, to one, five, four, and then C sharp. And now we go to that, we slide and go to the A now.
and then it just jams out right in the home row, C minor pentatonic, C sharp minor pentatonic. <laughs> All right, you guys, hope you had fun jamming out. Uh, all, always appreciate your support, especially making sure it's Marty Music, uh, signing my newsletter, leaving your requests in the comments below, uh, subscribing, all that good stuff. I really, really, really appreciate it and hope to see you again real soon. See you later. Uh.